know, uh, we caught up the other day just you know, prior to the race, and we were talking about what a great start to the season, especially that top result at the Commonwealth Games here on the new team. Talk to me about this transition, which seemingly is going pretty well. Yeah, I mean, um, so far so good. The team's got a good racing program, and I'm enjoying it, especially here at Norway, the good weather. Um, obviously disappointed to not still be in the World Tour, but making the most of it. Uh, hopefully some more results in the near future. When you talk about the World Tour, what have you been able to bring from from being with Bora here to Upper Blue Sport? Uh, not too much. Obviously last year was the whole year out with injury, so I didn't, uh, didn't really learn so much in the World Tour, but that's where obviously most cyclists like to get back to, but uh, uh, obviously have a bit of experience with the lead out, but back in the Pro Continental ranks, we don't have a full lead out train, so it also makes it quite difficult. And when you look at 2018, the remainder of it, we're halfway through, of course, but when you look at the rest of the season, what are your own personal ambitions and goals? Um, just to get some results, uh, help the team when I can, just get through as many races as possible. And um, we have a good, well, we have a double program at times with 16 riders, so there's plenty of racing opportunities. And, uh, just to show that I'm back after the injury and as strong as I was before. Do you know what your schedule is coming up in, in, in the short term? Actually looking for a break now. I've been racing since since nationals. I haven't stopped. I haven't had any time off, so it's uh, time for a break. And then in the second half of the season, end of July, hopefully going better than I am now. And it's a well-deserved break. You mentioned going since nationals. That's way back in January, of course, being in form before January. Yeah, I'm getting in close to 40-something race days now, which isn't a lot in the grand scheme of things if you do a grand tour, but when you do majority one days, it all adds up, and it uh, takes a toll with a lot of travel and uh, not so much time to train, so I'm looking forward to a decent break to rebuild the uh, rebuild the base again. What can we expect from you this week at uh, the Hammer Series? This is going to be a fun ride. We yeah, haven't looked too much at the Hammer Series, obviously coming straight off the Tour of Norway and then straight here. Been a lot of driving, uh, a lot of time spent in camp, but staring at the scenery. I haven't actually looked at the concept of the Hammer Series, obviously not doing it last year, so um, I'm sure we'll have a team plan and take it as it is. But do you feel like your, your track background will kind of lend itself towards success? Because obviously Hammer Series is a very short, sharp, punchy kind of racing. Yeah, I wish I still had the track form I used to have. <laughs> I think uh, hopefully some of the traits are still there when the push comes to shove. I haven't done a race like that with not too many criteriums for a while or anything on the track, so we'll have to find out on Friday, I guess. 